Jim, the new civic group called Greater St. Louis Inc. has issued the final draft of, uh, of its uh, STL 2030 jobs plan. It it's basically says St. Louis has to win this decade uh, when it comes to job growth. We haven't been winning recently. In fact, we've you know, lagged uh, the nation in, in job growth for a long time. And this group says that part of that is because we haven't had a plan. Dave, I'm going to be totally cynical about this. Cynic, cynicism that comes from long experience with plans <laughs> like this. This plan is going to end up forgotten on the shelf, right next to the Ford through Ferguson plan, right through the next to the Better Together plan. But all these other plans going back to the Pierce report 20 years ago, because it asks businesses to put the interests of St. Louis before their own interest in making money. It's not going to work. Well, I, I disagree. I, I think uh, there, there's a maximum that says those who fail to plan are planning to fail. And I think, uh, you know, for the last decade or so, St. Louis has been, you know, essentially planning to fail because we haven't had any, any coordinated effort. What, what industries we should be targeting, what, you know, what sorts of public investments we need to, we need to make to attract industry, what, what, what sorts of, uh, Workforce development efforts we need to, uh, to you know, make sure we have the workers that uh, the growing businesses want. It's been a, you know, uh, I, I think the lack of a plan is, has been showing in our in our results. Well, you know, a few things you just mentioned. You know, workforce development. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, coordinating the community college system to train people who are act for jobs that are actually out there. Things okay. like that are in the plan. They can work because you you have government that can do it. Mm -hmm. If you put the, but other things in the plan, for instance, they 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 want uh, you know businesses to sign a pledge saying we will buy a local, we will put jobs in the core city. Businesses are going to buy where they get the best price, and they're going to put the jobs where they can make the most profit. You know, the, up on the shelf, forgotten. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. Uh I do wonder whether that, you know, it's, it's called, uh, yeah, they have a couple of things in there. There's the, the pledge and a supply STL initiative. I wonder whether that can move the needle. I, I, I really think, uh, yeah, we need, we, we want to restore the central city. We need to make the central city competitive by, you know, by some, uh, some targeted public investments and, and some, uh, you know, uh, some you know uh, improving the the quality of the workforce the, yeah. the, the things businesses are looking for um it's it's uh you know it's nice to say yeah we'll we'll buy local we'll hire local but uh tr yeah, true i mean most of our our major companies are competing in global markets they're not going to disadvantage themselves to help the area i you know i i think that that to me is not the strongest part of the plan. But I think uh, the, the focus on inclusive growth is, is important. We've got to, you know, we've got to pay attention to, uh, to equity as well as, uh, you know, as well as, as well uh, as well as measures of growth. And, uh, you know, if some, uh, you know, demographic or, or, or uh, geographic parts of the area have been left behind in the, in the, in the past, we need to bring them along also. You know, you, you can say that, but you know, if we were China, and this came out of the Chinese government, which was a command economy, and you know, everybody in the business would jump up and do what the government said, that that would be fine. But but like all these plans, kind of assume that we will all get together and work towards, and, and we're not. You know, this this nobody controls the local economy; it runs itself, and that's where all these plans fall apart. I think. Well, it does, but we've got you know. We've got a very fragmented. Uh, we've got a very fragmented metro area. We got you know 15 counties, um, you know in, any number of, uh, of individual uh, you know business groups and economic development officials in, in all of those counties. Um, the, the, this by, by getting them all to sign on to this, it's kind of a pledge that they'll be rowing in the same direction. They won't be. You know, they'll. they'll they won't be competing against each other for jobs. They'll be, you know, they'll be competing to make the, uh, you know, to make the metro area stronger. And I, well, think you know, I think that's a step in the right direction. Well, you know, again, the, 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 the plan concentrates on the core city, as you can see, which alienates, which will alienate all the suburban mayors. We already had, you know, when the original version of this plan came out, you already had, uh, you know, 
County Executive Ailman in St. Charles jumping up and saying, what about us? And the new plan said, you know, patted him Ailman on the head and then went on and, and still favored the inner city. The core well, it, yeah, it, it does have some language about the urban core uh, because I, I don't think you have a strong uh, metro area without a strong core. But yeah. it also, it, it also uh, you know, ha- emphasizes, which wasn't in the, the draft that Ellman criticizes, it emphasize, emphasizes that a win for one part of the metro area is a win for all of us and that, uh, you know, and that we, 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 this plan is not about moving jobs from one part of the area to, to another. I, and I think uh, we, you know, Elma, if, if that uh, aspect of the original plan rubbed Elm in the wrong way. I think that needed to be emphasized and I think they've done that. You know, the, we, we can talk a little bit about the good parts of the plan. For instance, okay. you could probably, you know, if you can find some funding, get an advanced manufacturing, you know, research center set up near, uh, you know, set up near Rankin Tech so the yeah. Rankin Tech students yeah. can use it so the professors from, you know, the engineering professors around here can work with people who are actually in industry and develop new things. You know, that, that's a good idea. That, that, that can get done. Right. And this, yeah, this does, uh, this identifies five, uh, 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 industry clusters that, that St. Louis is strong in, including advanced manufacturing and including, you know, kind of healthcare services that we can, uh, you know, that we can build on. And I, I think that's helpful. And if we could get, yeah, public sector investments. And by the way, this is a very opportune time to be making the, uh, making this kind of, uh, of planning effort because, uh, you know, the, the, the Biden administration with the infrastructure plan and all the other uh, kinds of aid that it wants to wants to send out to cities and counties um, there are there are going to be opportunities to uh, to get some perhaps federal funding for things like that advanced manufacturing center or other well, the, gov- the government is giving away billions and billions and billions and if you can hurry up and get a proposal out there <laughs> well that's right and uh, so I think maybe you know maybe by having just done this plan St. Louis is you know had a little bit ahead of the game. Yeah, and, and he's he's also concentrating, the Biden administration also wants, him, wants to concentrate on improving and making free the community college system, which is your main vocational training operation after high school here. And you know, if you can if you can do that and get the trained workforce that you need, you know, that that improves your uh, prospects tremendously for creating jobs here and getting jobs to locate here. Oh, that's right. You, you can't you can't emphasize that enough. I mean, business will go where it can find the uh, qualified workers. I hear all kinds of businesses now, uh, right now, talking about worker shortages, um, even after the, the experience of the pandemic. So, um, I, you know, I think that's absolutely critical. Getting get, getting the, those you know getting those training programs in place. So our difference here is you believe in this plan, it'll advance St. Louis. And I'm saying too cynically that it's just going to be totally forgotten. 